Well, looks like it took just over one year to decode the mysterious alien signal coming from Mars. Okay, it's not really alien, because it was actually produced here on Earth, but the point of the signal we've discussed last year was to basically simulate what would actually happen if one day we've discovered a radio signal coming from somewhere out there. The question here was, would we actually have any idea on how to interpret these signals, and would we actually be able to somehow understand the message? And so in order to answer this question, and that's actually a really important question, back in 2013, a team of scientists and artists, headed by a media artist, Daniela De Pouli, collaborated with the European Space Agency, the SETI Institute, Green Bank Observatory, Italian National Institute for Astrophysics, and a few other agencies, to essentially simulate an alien signal coming from outer space that would be suddenly detected here on Earth, received by radio observatories. And the signal itself was actually sent from space. It was sent by the ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, currently in orbit around Mars. And so by having the spacecraft send the signal to us, and by then receiving the signal by radio observatories here on the planet, the new challenge was to basically extract the message. What exactly did it say? Because here we just got the raw data. The radio signal data that was now available on the website and could be downloaded by anyone. Although the files themselves were kind of large. Approximately 16 gigabytes in total. But within about 10 days, there were already approximately 5,000 volunteers. And by the way, you can still become one by joining the Discord that gathered their forces in order to extract the actual message. And well, you can actually learn more about all of this in one of the previous videos in the description. But the main point here was that this was a kind of a multidisciplinary art project, and it had a name. It's known as a sign in space. Here's the main website, and you can find this in the description below as well. And the main purpose here was to engage everyone, not just professional scientists, but basically anyone with any expertise in order to help decode this as if this was a real thing. And because this was created by a group of computer scientists, astronomers, and artists, the message itself was not very simple. As a matter of fact, it was complex enough that at first nobody knew where to even start. But now, after many, many different attempts, and after months and months of trying, out of these 5,000 citizen scientists, or technically amateur code crackers, we have two winners. And it's a father-daughter team. We don't really have their picture, but it's Ken and Kelly Schaffen. And basically, after a year and a half, they managed to crack the code. Or at least the main part of the code. And here's what they discovered. Essentially, five images, or five parts of an image, all made out of individual white pixels, but also containing unusual connections, all against a dark background. And well, can you actually guess what we're looking at? It didn't actually take long to figure out what exactly this represents. Here, this is a representation of five amino acids in a somewhat simple binary pixelated format. And every single pixel seems to represent either a connection between molecules or what sort of an atom this is. For example, every block here has one, six, seven, or eight pixels representing the atomic number for hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, or oxygen. And a single and double bonds seem to be designated with single and double lines. But intriguingly, this decoded image is actually only visible for one single frame, lasting one-tenth of a second. This was from the simulation or from the decoding produced by this team. And the only reason they even discovered this is because they realized that the message seemed to contain some kind of a movement, basically suggesting some kind of a cellular formation and possibly a representation of life forms. And so right now, we only have one single frame of the entire message. In other words, the final message has not been solved just yet. So we don't really know the exact meaning of everything, we just know that this seems to be in regards to the formation of life. And so it might still take a few months to discover the final message and possibly recreate whatever video there is in here. And I'm guessing it is some kind of a video since there is motion and this is just one of the frames. But based on what we have so far, it's probably going to be related to the origins of life or formation of life on Earth. So honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing how this ends and what all of the volunteers are going to be able to come up with since now they have their first hint. But before we finish this video, I guess one concept we have to mention is the main concept behind all of this. This is technically known as METI, Messaging to Extraterrestrial Intelligence. 
sometimes referred to as active SETI. It's basically an attempt to send messages hoping that someone out there one day is going to discover them. And though we're not entirely sure if this is something that everybody does or just something that humans did a few times in the past, right now the assumption is that if there are alien species out there, they might one day do something similar. And for us, for humans, this is something that we've been doing for several decades. As a matter of fact, some of the first messages were technically physical. They were actually in the form of plagues. They were the ones on the Pioneer probes and the famous Voyager Golden Records, both containing information about life on Earth and the location of planet Earth with the expectation that whoever reads these messages understands things like chemistry, biology, and obviously knows about pulsars. But these physical messages might never really be found by anyone. And so instead of physical objects, it would obviously make a little bit more sense to send radio signals. And to date, there have been quite a few messages already sent, either to try to communicate with someone else or as some kind of an artistic project. We've discussed some of them in some of the videos in the description, but the first such message was technically completely by accident. It was done by the Soviet scientists back in 1962 to test an enormous radar that you see right here. And so back then they sent a Morse code to planet Venus with the words peace. And the reflection from the radio emission was eventually received back on Earth because the radio waves reflected from the atmosphere and came back to us. But a large amount of waves traveled past Venus and is now traveling across the galaxy traveling past stars such as Gliese 581 that we know has at least three separate exoplanets. Now obviously we've never heard anything back from anyone, but this was technically the first MADI signal. But despite several other signals, including the famous Arecibo message and the more recent a simple response to an elemental message, we still obviously have absolutely no idea if any of this is even useful. As a matter of fact, a lot of recent studies have started to speculate that it's maybe quite unlikely that anyone is actually going to be using radio waves to communicate over distances, assuming someone exists out there. And instead, researchers have been proposing that, well, maybe we need to advance our quantum communication a little bit more, because maybe that's actually a little bit more useful. But we'll talk about some of these concepts and some of these other ideas in some of the future videos, because there is one coming out really soon. So, you know, subscribe if you'd like to find out more. On that note, though, at least for now, it's actually really impressive that someone was able to interpret the message that was received last year, even though technically humans were the ones responsible for creating it. But here, by using thousands of volunteers, chances are that even if we receive a real alien message, it would not be too difficult to eventually interpret what it's trying to say. Which was, of course, the main purpose of this exercise. Trying to find out if it's even going to be possible. And it looks like the answer is yes. But at this point, let's wait a few more months so we can actually find out what the entire message is trying to say. Until then, thank you for watching. Check out some of the previous videos in the description, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.